Hello, my name is Uncle Guda and welcome back to Let's Play The Walking Dead. We were about to see what's uh, on the videotapes. And hopefully, yeah, or probably get the locker combination. I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. Maybe that's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive, to keep on living? This is what it takes. If this is what it's turned us into. I don't make the rules, Anna. Doctor, I'm begging you. Please help me. Maybe one day when things are different, you can try again. But for now, today, we have to do this. She shanked him. No. No. Okay. You know what happened to Crawford? More importantly, we got the combination. Yeah, she definitely is pregnant. I knew it when she threw up. Krista, are you all right? What's wrong? It's nothing. That was just hard to watch. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. All right. Let's get those meds and get the hell out of here. We're in business. Antibiotics, morphine. We'll take as much of this as we can carry. Okay, I think we're good. This is more than enough for your people and mine. Let's go. You know, I found a third tape in the locker outside. Maybe there's something else on there. We got the meds for Omid. That's all I care about. We'll head back to the classroom. Don't take too long, Lee. Yeah, I'm going to say, uh, look what's on the tape. Cannot imagine why, uh, what it should, could be. Listen, as fun as this was, I have to put a stop to this little arrangement. This is the last I can give you. Why? Oberson had someone down here yesterday taking inventory. He's really cracking down. I just can't risk it. We had a deal. Yes, we had a deal. We don't anymore. My sister needs this medicine. Without it, she'll die or she'll start showing symptoms and they'll take her away. I can't let that happen. I'm sorry, Molly. I've done all I can, but I have to look out for myself here. Yeah, that's the Crawford way, isn't it? Okay. So is Anna... Oh, shit. Is Anna the um, sister of Molly or... Was she just angry because he broke his deal? <laughs> By the way, I, I like the... <laughs> The video starts with <laughs> zipping his pants up. Jesus Christ! Oh, you scared the shit out of me. Where the fuck have you been? Sightseeing. I'll take that battery now. Oh, yeah. Uh, about that. Uh. I'm just kidding. Ugh. <laughs> Stupid bitch. Here you go. What's that? Nothing. You can quit with the act, Molly. I know you're from Crawford. What? Who told you that? I saw you on a security tape. Why'd you lie to me? I said there were stories about Crawford. I never said that's how I knew about it. I never lied to you, and even if I did, so what? I don't owe you anything. You saved my life twice, but you can't tell me the truth? Are we really gonna do this now? I guess that's up to you. I used to live here with my sister. She was 14 years old. When the dead started walking and Crawford shut itself in, it seemed like a pretty good deal at first. We were safe. 
We had everything we needed to survive. But then... The started coming down. No one who couldn't justify their place or in their keep. No one who required special care. My sister was diabetic. And by uh... was reliability. I kept it a secret. Kept her safe for as long as I could. But in the end, I couldn't protect her. That's when I got out. Crawford, they always talked about how their system worked. How anything was better than becoming one of them. But I saw what they'd already become. I just wish I could have seen it before it was too late. Before they came and took my sister away. Did they kill her sister? This is all I have left of her. Uh, I guess. I didn't have time to take it before I got out of Crawford. I just wanted it, okay? It's okay, Mother. I understand. She's pretty. What the hell? I think that's our cue to get the hell out of here. Who the hell is ringing the bell? Unintentional rhymes, by the way. Oh, Jesus! Chip! Bear. Sorry, sorry. I just got spooked by those bells, and then I heard someone coming. What the fuck are you doing out here? Kenny and I still can't get the door open to the armory. He sent me out to look for something we can use to bust it open. I found this. Uh, Ben? Where did you get that? I just found it. It was stuck in the door handle at the end of the hallway back there. Oh, no. Shit. Well done, Ben. Oh, at least she does something. Yes. Lee, shoot this fucker! Thanks. It wasn't me. I didn't shoot. Keep going, kid. Nice shot. Thanks. What the fuck is going on? They're coming. Oh shit. That ought to hold them. Sir, but now how do we get out? Through the armory. We can just get this damn door open. Come on, damn you! Well done, Ben. You doomed us twice. This is my fault, all my fault. What the hell's he babbling about? Ben, we talked about this. No, wait. I want to know what he meant. What do you mean this is all your fault? Penny, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, man. Kid, this ain't the best time. Whatever you did, save it for later. I opened the door. I let them in. Ben, we don't have time for this now. I'm sorry, Lee. I can't do this anymore. He's got a right to know. Know what? It's been me all along, putting all of us in danger. Katja and Duck, it was all me. It was all me. Wait a minute. What are you saying? It was me who made the deal with the bandits at the Motor Inn, slipping them supplies. I thought maybe I could keep them off our backs. When it got discovered, that's when they attacked. That's when Duck... Kenny, man, I agree with you. You should kick his ass. But now's not the time. Gotta focus on getting out of here. You little pissant! You're fucking dead, you hear me? Dead! My wife and child! You got a boat fucking killed! Kenny, listen to me. You can whip his skin off. Right, later, but right now, we gotta go! Nice group you got here. Not the time, Molly. If this asshole thinks he's getting on my boat after what he did, he's out of his motherfucking mind! Kenny, we'll sort this out later. After we get out of here, okay? Ain't nothing to sort out. I just told you the way it's gonna be. The boat's not big enough for all of us. Somebody's gotta get left behind. Might as well be this piece of shit right here! Well, I vote we leave him. I'm sorry, Ben. I know you mean well. But all I want to do is get back to Omi, and you put that at risk. I would let Chris out meet and... Of course you do. Ben's nice. He's my friend. We don't leave friends behind. That's my vote. On second thought, I think I'm gonna abstain. Lee? Uh, I abstain. I abstain. We'll figure this out later. 
What about the rest of us? Don't we get a say? <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> now can we go? Damn right. Vernon, come on! Well, the first death... Not w from one of the persons I thought would die, but... So much for the armory. What's left of it? A few rounds. That's it. You didn't close that door behind us? I could. The lock was busted. Great. Just fucking great. Come on. There's got to be a way out down here. Uh. Ah! It's not gonna hold. Back upstairs. Oh, yes, a rifle. Oh no, it's a shotgun. Wow, really difficult. Oh no, they're gonna get me. Oh, they really might gonna get me. This is for fucking around. That was. Oh, at least I'm uh, staying, starting here again. Yes. No, again. And I'm free. Clementine? Oh no, Krista. I kill so many zombies in this episode. <laughs> yeah, Spada kicking zombies left, left and right. Oh no! I lost my axe. It's all right, Clem. I'm fine. Any way out of here? This leads to the roof. We might be able to find a way down from there. You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? Yeah. Why? Never mind. I can see the sewer where we came in from here. I think we can do this. Well, what are we Probably waiting for? Probably all go. the zombies who followed me? Maybe? Come on, let's go! <laughs> what the fuck? You can do it! There's no time! You have to go! Now! Quit fucking around, Ben! Come on! Let go, damn it! Get Clem and the others out of here! We. We. We both know. Let me go. Oh no! I thought you would have died instantly.
Krista? Everything okay? Oh, me! He's turned? He's dead. Hold on. Is he dead? Krista, don't! Stay back! I never should have left you. I'm so sorry. Krista, get away from him! Uh, hey. Back already? We got you medicine. Good. Feel like I could use some. Where's Ben? He <laughs> didn't make it. What happened? Dumb son of a bitch nearly got us all killed. Lee stepped up and did what he had to. That's what happened. Oh yeah, Clementine is now could be a little bit angry. Nice going, asshole. What's eating you? Yeah, I did what I had to. But I don't expect Clementine to understand that. Hell, I don't want her to understand it. You did the right thing. Trust me. She'll understand. I'm gonna go start work on the boat. Okay, with a little love, Oh god. Oh god. Soon. I'll stay here for a few more hours to check on him. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Doc. Yes, thank you so much. Maybe now's a good time for you and me to have a little talk in private. About what? Hey, I wanted to thank you for all you've done for us. You're welcome. I'm glad Bree will have died for something meaningful. You want to know the worst part? What? I don't feel much. I mean, I don't feel enough. Shouldn't I be broken up over what happened to her? That's how I was when I lost my daughter. When I lost my friends in those first few weeks. But now, it's like I just take something like this in stride. Like this is what our world is now, and we'd better just get used to it. Why are you talking to the guy who killed someone I ten minutes ago? Clementine. Anyone can see that. And I know you want what's best for her. But this plan of yours, putting everyone on a boat with no destination, do you really think that's her best chance of finding somewhere where she can be safe? Because I don't. So I want to make you an offer. What kind of an offer? I'll take her off your hands, take her back with me to my people. We're well supplied, well hidden, and a lot of us have had kids of our own. And now Crawford's fallen, we got nothing left to fear from them. She'll be safe with us. Safer than she will be if she stays with you, I promise you. That's what you want for her, isn't it? Clementine is going to stay with me. Say any of this and give you a chance to walk away, which you ought to do right now. I know you think you're doing what's best for her. And if you were her real father, we wouldn't be having this conversation. But you're not. And staying with you is not what's best for her. If no one else around here will tell you that, then I will. That little girl's in my care. We've been through more together than you can imagine. Anyone who tries to get between me and her, anyone, is gonna wind up dead. You hear me? <laughs> I've proven that hands many times. And I'm getting a little bit aggressive. I mean, Lee is getting a little bit aggressive. I'm chilling out here. Just watching my 45 minutes cutscene. After some uh, action. Hey, But I still... Didn't found her parents. Yeah, I'm about to head out. I, I just wanted to say thanks for everything. It's been fun. You don't want to come with us? What are you talking about? Kenny's working on the boat right now. Thought you were coming with us. God knows you earned it. Yeah, I've been thinking it over. It's not for me. Sounds like it'd be pretty crowded, and I never did like the water. You sure about this? I'm sure. I've always done better on my own, anyhow. 
Listen, I'm not much for goodbyes. Tell the others for me? Sure. You take care of yourself, Molly. You too, Lee. Oh. You should totally bone you her. Be sure to take care of that little girl. You know she thinks the world of you. Good luck. Ain't nothing to do with luck. <laughs> hey, sweet pea. Kenny's working on the boat. I know. What are we going to do after he fixes it? Where will we go? <laughs> Whatever Kenny says. Someplace else. Someplace better. Clem, honey, what's wrong? What happened to Ben? What did Kenny mean when he said you did what you had to? Clem, you have to believe me. I tried to save him, but Ben didn't want me to. What do you mean? What Ben did was very brave. He knew we were running out of time, and that saving him might put everyone else in danger. So he told me to leave him behind so the rest of us could get away. I know that's difficult to understand. I understand. You do? Yeah. He thought about other people before he thought about himself. My mom always told me that's what makes a good person. Well, she was right. Before we leave tomorrow, will we have time to look for my parents? Hopefully. I'd like to, Clem. But I don't think we'll have time. We really shouldn't stay here any longer. It's not safe. But... It's her parents. So the thing about the walkie-talkie and that didn't solve itself. <sighs> Clementine. Oh, she went off her by herself. Oh no. Clementine. She totally did. Yep, she went off by herself. Clementine? Clementine! Oh, God. It's a hat. Probably lost, lost it while climbing over the fence. Okay. Did I get bit? For a second, it, it looked like I got bitten. Oh, no. fuck. No. 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 Fuck. Lee? Lee? You out here? Lee? What? Are you crazy? What are you doing out here? It ain't safe. 
Lee, where's Clementine? She's not in her room. Vernon ain't in the house Why not? either. What the hell is going on? Whose blood is Why that? not? Oh my god. No way. No. No fucking way. There's no time to worry about me. Clementine's gone. There's no chance she just wandered off on her own? No. No way. Then who the hell took her? I don't know. Last night Vernon came to me and offered to take her with him. Said she'd be better off. Son of a bitch. I knew we couldn't trust her. No. It wasn't Vernon. Find her. Okay. What do you need from us? Clementine's my responsibility. Can't ask any of you to risk your lives over this. This is something I have to do alone. We're all responsible for Clementine. And in your condition, you may not make it to her in time. She needs our help. All of our help. Damn right. We can't let you do this alone. So that's settled. We'll look for Clementine together. I don't think you two coming is a good idea. Omid's still recuperating and you need to be taking care of him. I can't drag you both off on some rescue mission. Screw that. I'm good to go. No way I'm letting you have all the fun. Lee, I want to do <laughs> With this. Clementine. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. I don't know if they made this intentionally, but Omid is such a pedophile. Always been there for me, Lee. Always had my back when it mattered. What kind of friend would I be if I wasn't there for you now? Bitten or not, I'm with you to the end. You can count on me. Okay, guys, we should go find Vernon. Save you hey. to Let's head out. What about the boat? We just gonna leave it unguarded? If someone was gonna take it, they'd have done it already. Besides, what choice do we have? So I have the feeling Molly is coming back in the next um, chapter. I'm going to die. By the way, this is a long episode. I just let it go to the end. I'm probably near the ending of the episode. Oh shit. Where the hell are they? Looks like they got out of here in a hurry. Vernon! Get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here! All I want is the girl! Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt! Okay. Damn. <sighs> Why are they? Oh. It was uh, what what Vernon said. All those zombies from the train station followed us. Clementine, are, are you all right? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch! Holy! Who is this? Not Vernon, if that's what you're thinking. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. Why? Good thing I didn't end the episode. <laughs> No time left. Oh, so in one session I made, uh, I left that. Ah, did you kill the boy in the attic? Oh, so there was a way to not kill him? Okay. 
Did you lie or threaten, uh, lie to or threaten Vernon? No, we were rational, honest. Did you bring Clementine with you to Crawford? Most of them did. Did you let Ben fall to his death? Yeah, I am one of the few. And most of the people revealed <laughs> their bites. Okay. So, um, I'm gonna end this episode here. I'm over the 30 minute mark. So if you liked this video, like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.